next at 5.30 tonight, killer sentenced. Another defendant learns his punishment for a Providence triple homicide. Russell Burrell is ordered to serve six life sentences plus 10 years in prison for his role in the July 2012 murders. Now, he is one of four men charged in connection with killing Shamika Barrows, Michael Martin, and Damian Colon during a plot to steal money and drugs. It is our top local story at 5.30 tonight. Iowa News News reporter Jared Pliner is outside Providence Superior Court with more on today's sentencing. Mike Kelly, good evening. Amid all the characters here, let us be clear. 19-year-old Russell Burrell, who was a juvenile at the time of the murders, was the one who emptied 17 rounds into three human beings, and today was his last day in civilized society for the rest of his natural life. Think of what one has to do to receive life in prison times six plus a decade more, and Russell Burrell did it. The 19 year old sentenced in Superior Court Monday for murdering Shamika Barrows, Damian Cologne, both 22, and Michael Martin, 23, at Providence's Maplewood Terrace Apartments in July 2012. Burrell and three others conspired to rob Martin of marijuana and money, forcing their way into his apartment on that summer evening. Burrell executed Martin and Cologne with a 9 millimeter Glock as they were being herded into a rear kitchen. He then finished the magazine off on Shamika Barrows, who had simply woken up from a nap. Russell Burrell pleaded guilty in November of 2013. A judge sentenced two other defendants earlier this month, including Quandell's husband, age 18. A fourth waits to hear his fate. And in a statement, Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Kilmartin said Burrell's actions were not those of a misguided teenager who'd fallen in with a bad crowd, but rather of a cold, blooded, and calculating killer. Now, this is the third Christmas. The victims' families will be out there without their loved ones here from family tonight at 10 and 11, right here on Eyewitness News. But for now, live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom outside Superior Court, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.